Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video lecture we will be talking about proto-oncogenes and oncogenes. So what are proto-oncogenes and oncogenes and what are their difference and we will see some example of both this type of genes and we will also see the, the functions of proto-oncogenes and oncogenes uh, in, in our body. So the first thing you need to know, the, the very basic thing uh, I want you to tell at the very beginning is that oncogenes are all those genes which were earlier was proto-oncogene. That means proto-oncogenes are some sort of genes when mutated it may develop into oncogene. Okay? So there are no different things. This is the most important idea you need to understand. So we have say proto-oncogene. Due to several different modifications of this gene, it can turn into an oncogene. It can be turned into an oncogene. Okay? Now, what are oncogenes? If you talk about in a, in a sense, oncogenes are all those genes who produces some proteins which will ultimately cause cancer to develop in a body or in a person. Now, the oncogenes when translated, they will produce specific proteins known as oncoproteins. So, oncogenes when translated produces oncoproteins. Now, these oncoproteins are required for developing cancer because these oncoproteins will somehow do two things. First, it will induce the cell division and proliferation pathway. First thing is that induces the cell to divide and divide and proliferate. And the second thing it inhibits it inhibits the cell death. So remember a cell is keep on dividing. It is making new cells. It is proliferating rapidly and it is not being killed by the normal type of cell death pathway inside the cell which is known as apoptosis or programmed cell death. So when a cell is not going through this apoptosis pathway and still dividing that means sooner or later that cell is going to produce a huge mass of cells undifferentiated cells which will form tumor and that tumor will achieve new features after every specific time gap like angiogenesis features like like metastasis features and slowly that tumor will be turned into a malignant tumor and that tumor will cause the person to die okay that is the idea and that is known as my friend cancer that is known as a cancer so, role of oncogene is to induce cancer in body and oncogenes are produced from proto-oncogenes. That means proto-oncogenes are specific person who have the capability, specific persons that let us say we are talking about the cell as a home and these are some specific persons present there who have the capability to produce the bigger one oncogene. Right? So, we need to take care of proto-oncogenes very clearly because even anything wrong with proto-oncogene can ultimately lead to the production of oncogene. I mean turning the proto-oncogene into oncogene. So, they are not different things. Same gene behave badly because the whole idea of cancer is it is not a kind of infection, it is not kind of anything. Normal body cells start behaving rudely and very badly and you cannot control someone start behaving like that. That is the issue because it is your own cells. So, here the proto-oncogenes can be modified into oncogenes due to the presence of several factors. Now, the factors could be like mostly mutations and among mutations there are different types of mutations are possible like deletion, duplication of those proto-oncogenes so that it start expressing more such proteins which is used to produce or it could be viral infection that can trigger the change of proto-oncogene into an oncogene. Now the question is what are the function of the proto-oncogene in the first place inside the cell? Now the answer for that proto-oncogenes all the proto-oncogenes that we know for they are really really important genes 
that should be present in our body because they function to produce all the proteins necessary for the cell to divide for the cell to proliferate and we know cell division is very very important thing it's required it must required inside the cell for the cell to leave and process and and leave uh, and, and produce new generations so it is always true so what happens is here this proto oncogenes some of these proto oncogenes are growth factors you know there are different differentiations and classification of proto oncogenes from different perspective i am just going to tell you few examples of that some of them can be growth factors some of them can be uh, growth hormone receptors okay example of growth factors are, are like uh, c cis this type of uh, molecules uh, some some of them are growth hormone receptors like epidermal growth factor receptor or efgr for example these are some examples of all those uh, proteins now some of them are and this is the type of like tyrosine kinase receptor type any sort of tyrosine kinase receptor like epidermal growth factor receptor platelet derived growth factor receptor those are uh, tyrosine kinase receptors and they belong to this family there could be serine threonine type of receptors example is ras proteins uh, sorry uh, there could be gtps sorry gtps some gtps molecules that also required in cell signaling process uh, so that the cell can grow and divide and proliferate example ras is a protein uh, it's made from the ras gene that is also a proto oncogene and there could be some some of them could be transcription transcription factors example mic so you see there are so many different varieties of say, such proto oncogenes are found some some of them could be growth factors some of them could be growth factor receptors some of them gtpa some of them transcription factors so in a sense so many varieties are present okay now in all this case and, and, and many more varieties are there, I have not mentioned all of them. Now, this proto oncogenes, you know, all these factors have one thing in common. Can you tell me what? Because all these factors ultimately helps in the cell living pathway. Because, you know, earlier I mentioned in my other videos, like there are two major type of cell signaling pathways present in our body. One helps us to live, known as the living pathways. Another one, another few one uh, leads to the death of the cell so death pathway so either living pathway or death pathway now all these factors growth factors growth factor receptor gtpas this transcription factors all of them are required for us to leave for the cell to leave and grow and divide and produce new cells so proto oncogenes belong to that group the function in a broad aspect of proto oncogene is to help the cell to grow and divide and proliferate okay now if any problem with the proto oncogene that means there is some issue with the cell growth there is there will be some issue with the cell differentiation right now imagine if if proto oncogene turned or due to any mutation if this proto oncogene products that we all see these are the product names that i i, I have written RAS, MIC, all this, these are the proto oncogene products. Now, due to some mutations in proto oncogene, if the products are produced or expressed more inside the cell, this is going to create some problem because all excess amount of RAS, EGFR, MIC, CCs, all these proteins ultimately will help the cell to grow and divide much rapidly and it will not allow the cell to die so as a result of that it can turn the cell into a cancerous type that is the idea okay now remember what are the different uh, different reasons for the proto oncogene to turn oncogene the reasons for that there could be mutations and the cause for mutations these are chromosomal mutations for example if i take you one example like mic MIC is a protein and MIC is a gene that is present uh, in, in a chromosome. Now, the MIC proteins that they produce that, that acts as a transcription factor. That means a transcription factor is required in eukaryotic cell to produce uh, mRNA from the DNA. 
Now, if there are more meek present, that means more mRNA will be generated. So, as a result of that, the expression of so many different genes will be more inside the cell. Now, this overexpression will lead to the rapid growth and differentiation of the cells. It will turn the cell into a cancer cell. Okay. Now, how this thing ca can happen? Now, what happens normally, meek gene is present in chromosome. Now, let us say due to translocation of chromosome you know what translocation is let me draw it here translocation means this is a chromosome for example and let us say here this is a MIC gene now this is another chromosome nearby it also has a MIC gene over here over here okay now the translocation means this is swapping of the chromosome segment, swapping of chromosome segment from each other. So, as a result of that what may result is that some part of let us say this part, this part is cut and joined with this region. So, what happens here, they will form like this. So, instead of one MIC gene now, the chromosome now gets two MIC genes over there. So, the expression of that protein will be much higher now. So, this sort of mutations can ultimately lead to the excess production of MIC proteins. Excess production of MIC, MIC proteins ultimately triggers so many different cell signaling pathways that will lead to the generation of many more cells and division of the cells will continue and as well as the cell death pathway will be prohibited. As a result of that, the normal cell can be turned into cancerous cells. So, that in a sense is a proto-oncogene. So, proto-oncogenes are very important genes in our body helps in the cell to divide and proliferate. But if due to mutation, if there is any sort of issue and problem with the chromosome and the overexpression of those products happen, it can turn the cell into a cancer cell. Now, mostly those are like, this is a chromosomal translocation. That could be the duplication of the gene. It could be, it could be like, uh, say up due to due to the viral infection maybe there are some changes in this expression or maybe sometimes the deletion may also cause some sort of uh, other effects in the chromosomes so those are known as the, the reasons for transformation of a normal cell into the cancerous cell but this in a sense are the function of proto-oncogenes and that gene when it is uh, the function it will be out of control that gene itself will be known as oncogene. So, there are no separate gene names for that same gene can be turned into an oncogene. For example, we see in this case the MIC once the problem occurred to the MIC the MIC can be an oncogene ok that is the idea of proto-oncogenes and oncogenes. If you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel the link is provided there in the subscribe button thank you